Hi, this is Jeff Jensen with Go Engineers Tech Supporter. In this video, I'm going to show you how to populate uh, part number and description and co uh, comment for toolbox components using Excel. This is uh, really easy to do. And you'll see this little button over here at the top right, the three lines on the down uh, triangle. If you click on that, you're going to get a few options here. You can select the export data. This is going to, going to uh, create an Excel spreadsheet uh, for this component here. Uh, we'll save that out and then once that finishes saving we'll open it up in Excel and uh, in here we'll say yes to this message uh, in here you'll get columns for part number description and comment and you can enter in values um, for the for the part number description for each configuration here uh, what this is limited to that you can't do, you can't actually change any of the values in other columns in a rows, um, uh, you know, for size. You can't change any of this. If you do, you'll get an error message. You also can't add additional rows to create uh, new uh, sizes and configurations, and you can't uh, add columns, you know, for new custom properties or anything like that. So strictly limited to... Um, uh, you know, putting in part numbers, description, and comments, uh, but this makes it a lot easier to do so. For example, you can put your part number in and then copy that down to automatically generate those numbers. Uh, same thing with uh, description. Uh, so basically, this lets you use any t uh, Excel tools to quickly uh, populate these values. You can even copy paste these from another spreadsheet, you know, if you're uh, generating those numbers through another system by that. But uh, once you do have these populated, uh, just save the Excel file and close it down. And then back in Toolbox, we can go back and click on this Import Export option. We'll select Import Data now. And you just browse to your Excel file that you updated. And when that imports, it's going to enter in your part numbers and descriptions. So this will save you a lot of time where you don't have to enter that in manually in the Toolbox Settings application. And it's that easy to use Excel to populate your uh, Toolbox part number and description and comment. And I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I'm Jeff Jensen with Go Engineers Tech Support. Thanks for watching.